Good morning everyone. How are you all? Today we are going to learn about Raggedy Ann and we are going to also learn about another rag doll, Andy. Raggedy Ann and her equally spirited rag brother, Andy, are the world's best known and most adored rag dolls. At the hand of their creator, cartoonist, illustrator, author, Johnny Gruel, the Raggedies weren't ever simply dolls. They were literary characters as well, possessing attributes and outlooks, reflecting trustworthiness, kindness and spunk. Because Gruel was a natural born storyteller, it followed that his dolls would star in fanciful tales based on fantasy and make believe. On how Raggedy Ann was born, let's listen to one of them. A small girl burst into her father's art studio, trailing a battered rag doll behind her. Panting, she tells daddy about discovering the faceless doll in her grandmother's attic. Laying aside his afternoon's cartoon, the father picks up the doll. He studies her face for a moment before picking up his cartooning pen and applying a new face. He suggests that grandmother might be enlisted to sew on another shoe button to take care of a missing eye. Then, reaching for a volume of poetry behind his desk, the father browses through several by poet and family friend, compressing the titles of two of his favorites, The Raggedy Man and The Little Orphan Annie, he asks his daughter, what if we call our new doll Raggedy Ann? Let's listen to other version of the story. One day when Marcella was playing in the attic at grandma's house, she saw an old box in the corner. She ran towards the box. From the box, she pulled out a large bundle of clothes. She found a funny little hat with long white ribbon and put it on. She also found an old rag doll with only one shoe button eye and painted nose and a smiling mouth. Her dress was of soft blue material with pretty little flowers all over it. Marcella ran downstairs happily to show the rag doll to grandma. Look, Grandma, I got something. Well, where did you find it? It was kept inside an old box. It is old Raggedy Ann. I had forgotten her. I guess she has been in attic for 50 years. Dear old Raggedy Ann, I will see you another button on her right away. As Grandma sued, she told Ra- Marcella how she had played with Raggedy Ann when she was little girl. I loved playing, ra- playing with Raggedy Ann. She was my most favorite doll. I hope you both will have as much fun together as you and I used to have. So, Grandma, thank you so much. Raggedy Ann and I will have lots of fun. So this was another version of the story how Raggedy Ann was made.